the mentality of our hitting department has kind of shifted gears over the past few years. And we started going into the idea of damage, doing damage, um, so trying to swing with authority and, and drive the baseball and softball. Started to shift gears towards the idea of how do we, how do we measure that? Um, so we started going down the road of, of you know, measuring exit velos and tracking that and tracking true damage through our off seasons. Going into the fall of 2019, one of our founders here, Brett Swift, was able to uh, send me down to Miami, Florida to the Slugfest. Um, the Slugfest is a big hitting convention filled with MLB hitting, hitting coaches and, and college guys at a high level. And, and so when I was there, I got to meet a lot of cool people, um, people with driveline baseball and, and uh, even in the, in the Cardinals program, trying to pick up pieces and ideas that we could take into our club on how to implement technology and how to, how to use that technology to develop our athletes as a whole. We went out and purchased a couple blast sensors. Um, I dove into blast and, and uh, in that realized, man, like, we can assess all of our hitters in a way that, that it's not, uh, that, that the eye can't necessarily see. We started to implement Blast and, and built some pretty cool relationships with people that, that work in Blast and, and that use Blast in the, in the major league level and in the college level. Going into this offseason, we wanted to really hone in on that and how we can scale um, to assess and, and track our development, but also build out plans of development into the offseason. So this year we started to um, have assessments every five weeks with Blast. That's allowed us to bucket our hitters. So, so with playing, connection, rotation, all the things that Blast measures, we're able to take those numbers and, and take our hitters that get their assessments and put them on specific paths for their development. We have players that are really working on, on barrel consistency, players that are really working on swinging harder. Um, everybody's, everybody's different and, and so we're able to take that knowledge, that assessment, that technology and build out plans that are individualistic for our hitters. In doing that, those plans allow our athletes to um, get a lot more work in on their own because they have an understanding of those numbers and metrics. Um, they're able to take those numbers and metrics and, and pattern out their movements throughout the week. Um, it makes it very specific to them and then um, it also gives them a sense of ownership in their development, not necessarily just rolling into their training hour and, and, and uh, trying to learn the new drill of the day or whatever it is. They have a specific plan for them. They need to master that plan week over week and, and work that on their own as they, as they go about their process through the off season. So technology has been huge for us. It's, it's really helped us to hone in on, on specific development, but also still do it in a team environment to where it's, it's competitive, it's fun, and, and we can really see gains and, and encourage each other as we grow and develop. The best part about the process that goes on here at Extreme Elite is that there is a process and a system uh, with all the technology that they use. And that's a big part of what we do at the Cardinals organization, put a lot of work in towards building a process and oftentimes at the amateur level, a lot of teams and organizations buy all the tech, but they don't know how to incorporate a system for their players. So pretty cool to see that at, at this level uh, with Extreme Elite.